It's the oldest rivalry in cricket, Australia versus England, and this year the contest is returned to Australia. Let's go back to where the Ashes began. In 1882, British newspaper The Sporting Times published a satirical obituary to mark Australia's first test win on English soil. It prompted England's captain at the time to vow before the next series that he would regain those ashes. The rest is history. Over the years, there have been some great Ashes moments. Don Bradman's 334 at Headingley in 1930. Just on this ground yet. But it doesn't look like they're going to win this one the way Bradman is batting. Ian Botham's man of the match performance at Headingley in 1981. Safely away for four. Shane Warne's ball of the century in 93. And Andrew Flintoff's great show of sportsmanship towards a devastated Brett Lee at Edge Baston in 2005. But nothing sits as pleasantly in recent Australian memory than the whitewash series of 2013-14, the last time the Aussies hosted the Ashes. Coming off a series loss in the same year in England, the teams met in Brisbane for the first test. It was a poor start with the bat for Australia. Enter Brad Haddon. There he comes, and it gets over, only just. Catch it, catch it. Now they don't bother getting down. With some help from Mitchell Johnson, he took Australia from a precarious 6 for 132 to 7 for 246. England never recovered. The series was filled with tension and ill will. Coach Darren Lehman had made Stuart Broad public enemy number one, and tension spilled over on the field between Michael Clark and Jimmy Anderson. Australia's bowlers left England's batsmen without answers. Only one English player would score a century in the series, Ben Stokes in Perth. Meanwhile, Ryan Harris was bowling perfect deliveries to Alistair Cook. Oh, straight away! He's crashed into the stumps! And Mitchell Johnson was sending down thunderbolts. Oh, hang on, and he's got that on it, he has. He's helped it through to the keeper. This is nasty stuff from Johnson. But it wasn't only Australia's bowlers having fun. George Bailey made Jimmy Anderson feel unwelcome by smashing 28 off one over in Perth. Big swing. Has he got enough on it? Yes, he has. Bailey ended up with 39 off 30 balls as Australia declared their second innings closed. It was a defining moment in the test that saw Australia regain the Ashes. The Ashes were won, but the series wasn't over yet. The teams headed to Melbourne where Kevin Peterson and Mitchell Johnson had a friendly disagreement. He's fired up, Mitch. He's got to settle down here. He's really got to settle down. Nathan Lyon took 5 for 50 in the second innings and Chris Rogers, 116, guided Australia to victory. He's done it! And what a way to do it! With a whitewash in sight, the series moved to Sydney, where Ryan Harris took 5 for 25 and the party really started. It's been a long time since that humbling series defeat for England. They've since won the Ashes back in 2015. What will the series turn up this time around?